everybody. Very special announcement. We have another giveaway coming. Everyone's been waiting for it here. Yes. We've just reached the uh, the 1K sub mark pretty recently here, and we're doing a bit of a giveaway. By a bit, I mean we're giving away we more than we usually do. We got uh, I mean it's a special mile, a special milestone. You gotta do it. Yeah, we got. We see. This is a special mile. 1K. Uh, we didn't. You know, we weren't expecting any of this. We were just two random guys playing some games, talking about random shit that we didn't know if anyone would actually want to listen to. And here we are. Yep. Uh, we are going to be rolling off some prizes. So let's let's show everyone what they're potentially winning here. So on my side, we have two beautiful sets. Well, you're going to be rolling for one of these sets. So the Herald of Rebirth uh, Extended Art, the Rainbow Foils mm -hmm. here. One so of each, each roll would be pitch. One of each color. Yep. One of each color. So three cards total. There will be a Cold Foil Icelander and a Cold Foil Genus. I don't know if the screen captures that very well. So one <laughs> roll will be for both of those. So both of those cold foils. And then we're going to have a cold foil crazy brew alt art. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a beautiful one. and crazy. Uh, Rob, what, what do you got for the fans here? Yeah, so we've got three of the alternate art Boneyard Marauders here from, I believe, Team Covenant. Uh, yeah, so one Team winner Covenant. will get all three of these. I then have a rainbow foil Katsu from my collection here to be given off. Uh, pretty nice card there. Uh, additionally, one Rainbow Foil Azalea for all you Ranger fans. And last but not least, or hopefully not, we've got one of our First. Spark of Genius playmats that we will be giving away. We've gotten some you know, requests for people who wanted to buy these, and we figured let's just put it in a giveaway uh, for anyone yep. to win. So yeah, that's, that's it so, for me. Yeah, all you got to do to win, very, very simple. You have to like, comment, and subscribe on any of the videos with, uh, with this intro uh, onto it for the comments all we need to hear from you is you know we've been doing this uh, a little while almost uh you know quite a long time almost a year not actually even close to a year eight, eight months good for a while about eight months now so <laughs> what kind of video do you want to see us making in the future this could be more of the same more of our cc videos classic constructed blitz mm -hmm. our pov drafts like discussion videos deck text, whatever. What do you want to see us make more of, whether we've made any of it or not? Let us know down in the comments for any of the videos. We will be posting this for probably probably the month of August. And when the month of August is up, we will be doing the rolls in September. And with that, appreciate everyone for watching. Are you continue to support from the bottom of both of our hearts? We really do appreciate it. With that, have a great day. Hello everybody and welcome to another Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production. My name is Eric and you are joining us for a classic constructed showdown here between Icelander, Stormbind, and Viscerai the Runeblood. And this is going to be one of those matchups that I think Icelander is not as prevalent now in the meta because of Prism holding her back as Prism is holding back many other things like Guardian. Mm -hmm. um, but Viscerai is definitely one of those S tier heroes that we, we kind of showed in different videos like uh, into Reinar and to other other kind of matchups that's the recent one I can think of but Runeblade in general is just not going away anytime soon and to that end we're going to show a little bit more about ways to possibly target him and Icelander might be a thing uh the funny thing is I think everything that like I think might do decent versus Viscerai just gets dumpstered by Prism which yeah. is kind of ironic but um this triangle basically being, everything else is yeah, in one little corner it's, it's it's literally it's literally prism viscerai and like Destroy, everybody like Guardian. Else. that's the triangle and everyone's just trying to attack parts of the triangle right so uh, i am joined by rob my co-creator co-commentator co-caster and co-compatriot who uh will be doing some co-casting and co-commentating uh up uh, pretty soon but i'll let him announce that uh, a little bit later uh, of course, and with that, I think we could probably just move on to. I don't think we have any announcements. Uh, both me and Rob will be at Canadian Nationals. Yep. So feel free to say hi. We both expect to be um, at Worlds as well. We both are going to be at Worlds. He can say expect. He's going to be there at Worlds also. The only reason uh, I say that's because I didn't buy my ticket yet. But you, I think, already have your travel ticket. I bought. I I bought the plane ticket. I didn't buy the ticket, the calling ticket, because I'm actually pretty close to qualifying for the main event. So okay. depending on how I do it, depending on how I do it, Nats, because uh, you can get PTIs, yep. you can get um, a lot of XP, a lot of ELO. So I'm decently close to a couple different qualification routes. So I'm not going to count my count my chickens before they hatch here. So yep. uh, I don't want to buy a ticket yet. So, because if I play the main event, that's going to change quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I don't play main event, I'll just play the calling and just chill out with side events on Friday. Uh, with that, 
if you do like this kind of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. We do have our subscriber 1K giveaway uh, going going now until uh, end of August. So we have quite a few prizes, hundreds of dollars worth of prizing. And mm -hmm. with that, I think we're just going to start it off here with uh, the Icelander sideboard. So the sideboard that I'm showing off is the sideboard that I have taken out in this matchup. Uh, you can check the updated Icelander list in the description. Uh, I did make a couple changes. I'm kind of still screwing with the deck a little bit. It's kind of hard to get Icelander testing in in any kind of serious way because it's such a dog into Prism. It's so hard to like realistically get into other matchups. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm kind of experimenting with different things here and there. Uh, but I'll explain kind of a little bit of the changes that I've made anyways. So the first side out comes with, uh, I'm not using my three CNCs, uh, which it sounds odd that I'm not running CNC into Viscerai. That's mainly because I have other cards in there that I value more into this matchup. Uh, it is useful being able to take Viscerai's arsenal card. However, Viscerai can come back with a lot of damage on four card hands. And I do have other cards that can target the arsenal. And so I'm going to rely more on those than CNC is pretty expensive coming at a two cost. It's uh, attack action. It does block for three. I don't really want to shove it into the arsenal, which is what a lot of decks do with CNC anyways. And so there's like less opportunities to use it. However, it is a good um, good card into like decks like Lexi, decks like even Briar. Um, I just don't really value it as much into Viscera. I, I might be making a mistake. It might be very good into Viscera in this particular matchup. But for now, I'm signing it out. Uh, three yellow Aether Ice Veins. So the reason I'm signing out the yellow Aether Ice Veins, so I'm keeping the red and the blues, is because uh, I plan to be blocking a fair amount in this matchup. It will be like uh, pretty tempo-oriented is how I see this matchup because Viscerai doesn't necessarily block a lot himself. He is going to be bringing on a lot of um, double-digit power turns, and so I am going to be blocking out a fair amount. And the chance of me having a blue to pay for Ice Vein and an Ice to Fuse along with Aether Ice Vein all in my hand, which is a three-card hand, or having like the space to arsenal a non-blue card, I think it's going to be slim to none. And if I'm already running the red Ice Veins, I really don't want to clog my hand with more cards that I can't put in the arsenal or I'm forced to block with. They don't have a lot of utility. So that's my reasoning between uh, taking out that yellow Ice Veins. Uh, with that, I'm also citing out blue Sigil of Permafrost. This card is was an addition to V2. I've kind of been working a little bit with it to see um, see it as an alternative win condition. And by win condition, I mean that it, because it blocks for two, uh, its defensive prowess isn't particularly reasonable. However, the effect doesn't change between the red and the blue one. So the next time I deal arcane damage, it does still create that many frostbites. So I am able to, like, in the late game, use this as a win con. So I'm just able to pitch the blue, do the sigil, uh, push arcane damage, and still with frost hexes out, like one or two frost hexes, if I get enough space. Uh, I am able to use sigil in the same way I was able to use red sigil. However, in this particular matchup, I instead sided in the three Oasis Respites, which I think are very useful because I'm able to block a full Rosetta, which is super nice. And it's also, I'm going to be on less health for a good chunk of the game, I imagine. And so it's going to be like a one for five, right? And I feel like that extra three health I might get from all three Oasises are just going to be better than the three, three blue sigils here. Uh, with that, my last side out is going to be the blue energy potions. These only come in verse control. Uh, mainly in the Guardian matchup. So you're going to bring these in versus Old Him, you're going to bring these in versus Bravo, and they let you pay for those extra um, extra pops of, like, if you want to play, you know, multiple OTK. Like, it gives you more flexibility with playing your OTK turn later in the game when you play those uh, Frost Hex and you want to, like, fuse a card and then use, like, Insidious. So you, like, pop the e, the e pops to be able to pay for Striders and then everything else you want to do on your OTK turn. In this matchup, it doesn't block, uh, nor nor is it a control matchup. So it comes out into this board. I'm running the 62 cards. Uh, one of the new cards that I add to the deck that I'm siding in are three red ice binds. I did not know what to cut for the other two cards. I was a little bit worried about cutting extra blues. Um, I do have some ideas of what I want to cut, but I'll probably solidify those in the post game to review if that was the right call. Uh, so those red ice binds, it is just a zero for free red. It's very, very efficient. So you just need that and a blue ice card, and you can block with your other cards. And you're you're able to like fuse it and then freeze their arsenal card if they can't fully block the arcane. Mm -hmm. uh, that that replaces in case. So the direct replacement was uh, the three red in cases. I don't think the red in case does enough. I think it, I really want to be targeting arsenals in these aggro matchups. And so that's kind of the replacement for like C and C. Like I'm still targeting the red and it's guaranteed to hit if they're not running null three or they don't want to pay for null three because then the arcane will definitely go through. So I feel like that's a more like succinct way of targeting the arsenal 
and being able to last those extra turns. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of stuff I'm floating with here. Uh, and I am running the Alluvian Constellus. Uh, does come in versus uh, Viscerai, comes in versus Wizards. Uh, not, I don't even know about Briar, possibly Briar also, but Viscerai for sure because of the rune chance. Mm -hmm. um, and then Cornet Peak, Iron Rot, so it allows me to get four armor on the board, and of course Striders. Uh, funnily enough, Striders does allow me to block the Arcane from uh, Rosetta if I need to fully, so I don't really re need to run Metacarpus or anything like that. I also don't feel like Metacarpus is better than the Iron Rod here, so that is the sideboard for <clears throat> Icelander. Awesome. I'll first apologize for my camera being this high. Usually it's down here, but there was a weird zooming error that caused me to have to move it up, so I apologize in cutting advance. Your face, cutting your face at the eye level. So right on one my step eye. at a time. Okay, so on Viscera. I see that. Uh, I took out the CNCs. I don't have them in front of me, but I took out three CNCs because Icelander has a very good chance of just playing her arsenal card in response to CNC's ability uh, as long as he has a blue in arsenal, so that's going to be most of the time. I'm not going to count on those times where he puts it a red or a yellow in his arsenal. I took out a race face as well. I'm um, a bit high costed, plus I'm kind of kind of wanting to go for more damage. I think it's fine, uh, but I had better cards to play in its in its place. Next, I have three consuming volition. Uh, this is mostly for the aggro matchup. Uh, Eric is going to be very happy to block out everything I do, pretty much all the arcane damage and the four from consuming. So might as well take that out. It will not be that useful. And I took out uh, three lead the charge blue. These are mostly for prism getting action points. It's, it's fine. It works in some cases where I don't have my Spellbound Creepers, maybe, but I think in this matchup, uh, it is not really the way to go. And That's yeah, reasonable. we're running AB2. This list only has Arcane Barrier 2 uh, in the Crown of Dichotomy and uh, Vex and Quill Hand. Um, and then I'm running the Aether Ironweave because Skeleta is no longer a thing. And of course, we have the Spellbound Creepers. Yep. And Rosetta. Yeah. Enough said about Rosetta. And Rosetta. <laughs> yeah, the Arcane 2 is going to be interesting. I don't even know what I would take out of that list for the Arcane 3, given that, like, Icelander and Kano are, like, the only things I would use Arcane mm -hmm. 3, and I don't think either of them are enough of the meta to really warrant an Arcane Barrier 3. So yeah. I think Arcane 2 Barrier is, like, reasonable. Like, you have your you have your uh, Arcane 1, so you have your, your his headpiece for, like, uh, Runeblade Mirrors and Briar, which is what mm -hmm. you run generally, and then you have... Uh, quill hand you kind of just have in there but you'll yep. generally be running grass it's mostly so the grass it's like, um yeah yeah i'll say that two is a bit it's a bit rough because if you come in with an ice bind i can't fully block it even if i wanted to so the arsenal will be uh for sure frozen at that point yep. that's the only thing it's fair all right Let's roll up the rim here roll up the rim a canadian very canadian. Tanning. It's pretty wow. good okay I've well i am running the ice queen i am running the ice queen herself mm. yep great uh, white north be... Great White North. I'm going to be running um, going first. first I think You'll be running first? Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll be running first. I'll run um, second then. I just right don't want to like, just be able to set up like a really good setup turn with like Rune Chance, like a Mordred Rune Chant turn, and I'm just like sitting there and you've got like six free damage sitting there yep. and like read the runes or whatever. It's a good chance um, for setup for sure. Yeah, yeah, because you're, you're going to be able to generate Rune Chance in most situations, so... Uh, I'm going to pitch a Amulet of Ice to play a Frost Hex Blue. So I got the opening Frost Hex, which is kind of nice. Yep. Uh, really no point in Waning Moon and letting him recycle. So Because it only comes in for two. I'm not even going to get a guaranteed damage in. Uh, I'm going to Arsenal one card and pass. Mm, very sad about that. Um, good. Good. Okay. I need you to be sad about that. Yeah. Okay, well, drawing into a full red hand, turn one, you know, it just, just happens. It does just happen. It sometimes do be like that. Yep, it do be like that. Um, honestly, not much to do. I'm just going to play Read the Runes here. Uh, Let me get my rune chance. Oh, okay. where Read did I runes. put those rune chance? Here they are. Interesting. Yeah. You get a pass? Uh, yeah, that's all I'm doing, so I'm in Arsenal. Three cards in hand. Um, okay, pass is fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, your turn. Um, yeah. Now, Icelander same, with a five-card hand, here. not that threatening. You typically can only do one thing on your turn. That's reasonable. Um, so, it's never really a threat to let the Icelanders have her five-card hands. No, that's reasonable. So I'm just going to pitch Sigil of Permafrost. Mm -hmm. And... 
uh, blue ice bolt for freezing points fusing with channel lake. Um, okay, so, so that's a five. That's a six because you have a frost hex in play. So it's one frost deflection. So this is coming in for six. I did fuse it. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, this is on your side of the field. Yeah, yeah sorry. I forgot it added afflictions as well. So six damage. Yeah. Uh, this is coming in for six. I have no floating. Uh, one card in hand, one in arsenal. Six I'll is not be... nothing in this matchup. I'll pitch a shrill and block two of it. Take four. And now we're even. Uh, I pass. <laughs> Say goodbye to those Oasis for Spite. I know, right? <laughs> or, well, I'll just take the first hit and then Oasis the Rosetta or whatever. Yeah. All okay. right. All righty, righty. Um, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is like so sad. I'll come out with the Rune Flash. So, three Arcane, four Physical. It's a free Rune good. Flash. Coming yeah. in, seven total damage, two cards in hand. Sure. Seven total damage, two cards in hand. It's pretty good, pretty good. So let's do yield. I'll pitch Arctic Incarceration to block the three rune chance with my mm -hmm. uh, Alluvian Constella, so I get a counter on that. Uh, just as a reminder for anyone, it's uh, I get to remove two energy counters and the ability of my Waiting Moon will be free, essentially. And I can go up to four counters and I can get one counter per turn when I block Arcane. <laughs> Uh, in case anyone is unfamiliar. Uh, so I got four coming at me. Yes, four physical. I'm going to move to reaction. Sure. And it's Aether Hail. Uh, I got double red sigil turn one, so I'm just going to use it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to not fuse it. Sure. Uh, mainly because I don't have a non-attack, so it wouldn't matter anyways, because I couldn't winning moon you. <laughs> it's coming from Arsenal, right? So. Yep, no exactly. Unless you, uh, you know... Use your storm striders. striders it out. Yeah. yeah. Turn two striders. Unfortunately, because I have the like hex out idea. too, so it'd be real, real good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'll I'll pitch shrill to come in with Rosetta Thorn just for two more physical. Uh, so that's just two physical. Yeah, there's no uh, arcane on that. Didn't draw a non-attack action card. <laughs> My hands have not cool. been good right now. Uh, it's sad because thought you would have a non-attack but then like why wouldn't you play with the rune flash i thought you were baiting me and i'm just like oh, i have the two oh, arcane you overestimate me yeah yeah maybe um i mean blocking this with gauntlet seems absolutely horrid it's too damaged turn on your respites so i have two cards in hand ideally what i want to do is pitch to coronet peak and then arsenal which would be quite decent the other thing I could do is block with a card and just Arsenal pass. Uh, I, I'd like to take a card out of your hand with Cornet Peak, and I'm yep. willing to take two physical to do it. That, that so makes that's sense. Fine. That makes sense. Okay, that's all I've got. Yep. Didn't Keep even play a range yet. Oh, yeah, to. Forgot to. Uh... Yeah, you didn't, you didn't even get a dot attack. It's not Pog. <laughs> well, sometimes, uh, sometimes this try just misses. Sometimes it's just not uh, Pog. I'm gonna activate. Yeah gonna activate cornet peak pitching an ice bolt so give me a card or yep. i mean just discard or pay one so give me a card in one of those yeah i mean there's no reason i've always been confused by that effect because why would you ever discard unless you well, want to fill your grave in in blitz for instance if you're not playing viscera and you have a d react like viscera is ll but like if you're playing a d react and die slender you can't side out in blitz then you're gonna want to just toss discard it the sink below. No, yeah fair. you that's discard fair. it because you don't want to pitch the sink below right it's a good point for instance, for instance. it's a good point Okay, well, um, I will, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pitch Revel. Pitch a Revel away. All right. I had I like Revel, that. I had Revel with a bunch of attack action cards. <laughs> yep, it happens. Uh, I'm just gonna arsenal like my last that. card. Okay. And drop to four. Okay. Um, yeah, on my turn, we're gonna start with Mavri on Sky is Red. In response. Sorry, I just needed to do that just to make sure. Be dramatic. Slam it down. Yeah. Be dramatic. <laughs> what was uh, it? Objection. Uh, objection. Uh, I'm going to Channel Lake from Arsenal. Mm. Okay. Uh, you knew Frost. I had it. it Frost was, those really bad. for me. But you will get a one Frostbittle. Frostbittle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, that's okay. Um, I mean, it's not okay, but can't do anything about but it. But it's okay. I'll just yeah. I'll pitch three to play Rune Blood Incantation. So um that, that yep. is a thing. So you're pitching three, yeah. Okay. It's a three, yeah. yeah. 
So goodbye, uh, Aubrey on Skies. Oh, I will create one yep. more rune chant because of this yep. yep. I will try to make a point to not forget that at all this game. Mm -hmm. Ever. Okay, that's all I've got unless you want to react. Well, you can't really, so. Oh, I can. I can win. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, you can, yes. <laughs> I forgot about winning. Can't um, react. I, Man, just I had nothing in hand and no floating, so it's free damage if you want yeah. to. I know. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, this is not in my hand. See, if yeah. Alluvian was on two, uh, uh, although Tunic would only be on two also, I oh, think, right? Alluvian had... gives you a resource? I forget how it works. It makes Waiting Moon free, essentially. So oh, it gives it you a discount on a discount weapon. By three. Right. Yeah, discount by three. But, you have um, to consume two counters to do that? Two counters, correct. Okay. I, mean, I only have one. You didn't do any. I thought you'd do, <laughs> I'm not doing I thought anything. You'd do a root. Like, I thought you'd do something. Well, ne okay, no, next I'm... turn, if you let me keep this stuff, I probably will. Okay, no, How's that's that? fine. I'm Is just going to do that. Yeah. I'm just going to. That's fair. Yeah. I'm just going to let you let you go. Okay. Let you pass. Yeah, okay, your turn. Okay. Uh, you have one rune chant, and uh, the nice thing about incantation, it gives, it gives me a window to play out Arsenal because it's, it's a mm. trigger, right? So I get to. Like then I get to play channel oh, that's before fair. your mob skies and stuff, so it's actually quite nice for me. Mm, it's true. Um, well, it'll save me a mob skies then if you do that. True. <laughs> uh, so my turn, I will pitch an Arctic incarceration uh, to play this nourishing emptiness. This was the reason why. Oh, gross. I, uh, why I kept the card and didn't waiting mood because I, I wanted to. Ar I always want to be arsling a card, right? And I get the one blue ice to uh, for the channel. So I want to be able to pitch for something. So it's either coordinate peak and block with nourishing. Or sorry, mm -hmm. pitch to nourishing to waiting moon because I had one floating. That was the other option in case people are curious. But I think the hitting, coming in with the nourishing six domination is much, much better. Because you only have two armor. So okay. yeah. unless so, you're for I mean, some I'm not reason gonna running break, it, you react. I'm not breaking yeah. my spellbound on that, my creepers on that. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking how much do I actually care about your five, six card hand? I mean, what are you going to do? Draw I'll, I'll, for sure, I'll for sure use my... Uh, my armor though so i'll block yeah. one uh it's definitely not worth breaking creepers over that so definitely not um uh yeah i don't really care about your intellect um wow <laughs> what a guy thinking about my turn though because <laughs> you're gonna have thinking about your life decisions you're gonna give me I'm a gonna frostbite and i'm gonna have to deal with china lake because you oh you pitched nice yeah of course yeah yeah i, pitched nice, I hate that 1.5 turn thing on china lake that's so broken super good in my Super mind, good. it was like, it's going away this turn. But no, it was a 1.5. It's only nope. one counter now. I don't have to pay for it on your turn. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Block with a sift. So I'll take one. Uh, Sorry, two. Right? It's a six? Yeah, it's a six. So you'll yeah. have to be taking. Sift blocks for three. I thought, so thought, yeah, it was a three block. Yeah. Yep. In my uh, mind, I was like, it's five, so I could block with my equipments. But no, actually, even if I threw in this creepers there, I can't fully block. So <laughs> definitely not the right, right play. No. Yeah, well, if you throw on creepers, then you can block if it comes in for five, but no, it doesn't. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, so okay. that's the one counter on channel. Okay. I put Arctic to the bottom. You and I gave me two damage, so we're equal now? Yeah, we're equal again. All one, right. two, three, four, Incantation five. pops, so if you want to react to that, you can. Response. Mm -hmm. Stop. In the name of love. <laughs> um, and other things. Love, death, and robots. Love, death, and robots. Um thinking if i want to do something no i'm good <laughs> you're like a cop that pulled me over and like never mind have a good day i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let you sit in your car and stew while i like i'm in the back trying to like make a ticket for no reason binoculars right, looking through my window okay i'm gonna be um so i have two rune chants um yeah i'm just gonna be pitching so i don't have a frostbite thank goodness i'll pitch three for shrill so it's gonna be coming in for uh seven plus the two rune chants pitching so I pitch a three. Uh, sorry, it's a white border card. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. Couldn't find a black border. So it is a blue Marion Skies. Shr Shrill is coming in for how much? It's seven because I created a rune chance off of the rune blood incantation. Mm -hmm. So two rune chants are going to come in, and the Shrill will come in for seven. <clears throat> it's a nice two card two hand with the incantation to come in for seven off of a two cost. It's kind of nice. Sure. That sounds about right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play Hypothermia. From okay. Arsenal. So Just I was thinking about playing it frostbite? before. Yeah, give me the frostbite and turning damage, on the I guess. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the one damage on the plus. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fine. Sure. Yeah, you uh, can do that. One frostbite. Uh, Are you pitching uh, to block my room chance? Yeah, I guess so, huh? Mm hmm. Hypothermia, a pretty good card into Marvion Skies. Mm hmm. 
It is. That's kind of what I would thought you were gonna do. Um, <laughs> That's so my secret. Frostbite I don't play well. one. <laughs> Maybe it's Maybelline, but it's not Maybelline, is it? It's uh, a lot of damage so coming. I'm gonna do instead. I'm gonna pitch Scour uh, to block with oh, Olivia. Forgot. I forgot Scour was a thing. Oh man. It is a thing. It's not from Arsenal, obviously. So yep. um, I have okay. one floating. Yep, seven physical. This and this. No, just sink below. Okay, take three. Uh, um, take three. Did you want to sink? Uh, no sink. Okay. No. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm keeping a card in my hand and passing. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna. I'm, I think I'm gonna pop oh, the alluvian here. Did you want to waiting me, by the way? You mentioned it. Yeah, but... yeah. Yeah, I, I am. I'm just thinking about if I want to pay with a card from hand. Okay, sorry. I'll put this back on top then, because you're probably going to arcane damage me. I'll probably pitch to block it. So, I'm gonna pitch that. No, I'll, I'll use Alluvian to make Waiting Moon free, and I'll hit you with Waiting Moon for three. Yeah, three. Okay. Um, it's probably worth three blocking that. Damage. Yeah, I'll pitch the Mordred. I'll just take one damage. Uh, sorry, two damage. Sure. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, Same and then later. end of turn, you take the Frostbite yeah. damage from yeah. Frostex. Yeah. So you're at 31, if I count correctly? Yeah, I think I was 34 minus 2 minus 1, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Cool. Your turn. My turn. Fortunately, I don't think I can keep Channel out, which is real, real sad. Oof. Um, I am going to be able to pitch a Cold Snap to get a second Frost X on the board, which is quite <laughs> nice. So getting enough space. So ch what Channel does really early is it gives me enough space to play multiple Frost Xs if I play them, which is really, really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't have go again, otherwise I'd be able to probably not block with a card, but I had sync, so I'm just gonna arsenal my last card and channel goes away. Okay. Rune Blood Incantation will go, so you have a window to react if you want to. Yeah. So here's the question, do I? Yeah. I don't know if I like that reacting to this beside or over reacting to like a Marvion Skies. Because you might make me waste the Marvion if you react after. Whereas yeah, if you do it up front, it it's like I know what I could Look, I know what's in store for my turn if you give me the Frostbite up front. The Frostbite, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you send me to the Frostbite uh, early, I, I might just you the skip the Frostbite. That's that's reasonable. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You, your trigger is fine. Cool. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> cool. Okay, here's a non-attack action. Become the Arc Okay, um, so I believe it's a discard, right? You may discard, yeah. So I will discard um, a yellow Shrill. Yellow Shrill, yeah. And I'll go and fetch a non-attack action card. Yeah, I was going to go get a Mordred Tide, but now I'm thinking, like, I need the resources to play everything out, and I won't if mm -hmm. I take a red card. <laughs> so I, I might be going for a nice, uh, a nice maybe yellow mob or something. That, ah. could be, that could be the play. A calm, cool, collected yellow Mavrian. Yeah. Delicious. All right. Any react to that? I guess I just resolved it, so no. <laughs> I'll create the... Uh, nope, sorry, no room chant off of that. I will play... Yep. Hmm. You've only done one thing, sir. <laughs> What's your favorite <laughs> chant? Getting ahead of myself. You are. All right, let's go Swarming. So Swarming gets the uh, the second ability, so it gains plus one and go again. So four just damage. Four go again. Um, it would have been one rune chant, and then I would have created yeah. one more. So let's just put this, uh, there you go. So sure. I have one in the bank and one coming up front. So one in four. Yep. In response, I'll hypothermia. Oh. So it's going to give you a frostbite and your swarming won't have go again. Yep, that's fair. Um, and that's coming in for four. You have to block the arcane, it's one. Yeah, I'm going to use Insidious Chill to block the arcane on my Constellus. So I'll get a charge on Constellus and yep. I have two floating. Yep, that works. Uh, no go again. I block. Yeah, I'll, I'll block with Ice Bolt for three. So I'll take one. Okay. Uh, two cards left in hand, I guess, because you played from Arsenal pitched. Correct. Two cards left in hand, two floating. Okay. Now, I put there me a good card. Now, Creepers is a thing. Creepers is I a thing. I just don't think it's worth it right now, given my hand. You have to use it and just, like, Bray, I can't block all your enchants. So if you have the revel, it's not bad. However, anything less than revel is risky. Yeah, you've got two floating, I believe. So yeah, I have two floating. There's no real chance and, that. I'll and there, there's also one frost. That. There's also one frostbite. So your creepers cost two. <laughs> That's true too. Yeah. Don't forget about that. Um. Yeah, I'll just stop my turn there. So I got one rune chant in the bank. I'll pass it to you. Uh, I will winning you with my two floating. 
Okay, so here's where when I can actually waiting pitch. for three. I'll pitch the yep. yellow mauve, so I'll take one. Take one, yeah. and then take uh, two from this frost spike because I have two frost hexes. <sighs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be painful. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I should have gone for a blue. I picked the yellow. I made a mistake. <laughs> Probably could have used the resource. Mistake. Okay. 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 So. I don't want to do now. Probably do this. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna pitch a frosting for Cornet Peak. Mm, okay. So generally, what I want to do is like I could do what arcade, <laughs> or I could take a card. You're always gonna want to take the card here. Yep. Always. I'll I'll pitch red. Read the runes. Yep. It's reasonable. I'll uh, Arsenal pass. All right. Rune blend incantation. We'll use the last counter to gain one rune chant. I'm at two. Any uh, shenanigans? Any shenanigans? Uh, uh you read the runes at the bottom, yeah? Yes, sorry, that was last turn. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, it was last turn. Okay. Yep. So, all right, let's go with Sonata. Sure. Top three. I'll let, I'll let, you, I'll let you resolve that. Number one, Revel. Number two, That's good card. Mauve. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Number three, Sonata. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at all these ooh. reds, too. Look at all these reds. The more, the more I see Sonata, the more I hate that card. I'm not going to lie. It's not really doing it for me. It's really Have not. I whiffed you get like, your the last three Sonatas I've played? Not this game, nope. but just in general. You hit, you, hit, you hit one. I remember you hit one. I hit one. Out of, I all, think you were like out one, of all the Briar You were one for I three. Played. I think you were one for three on that. Oh, man. <laughs> Does that change your plan? No arcane damage for me. I'm just going to pitch one to come in with Amplify. <laughs> So I'll have one rune chant in the bank and I'll be dealing two plus the six here. Two plus the six. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block one arcane. Uh, I'm going to block one I'm arcane and I'm one. 29. Yep. So I'm at two on my Constellus. So I have two floating. And then you're mm -hmm. coming in for six, yep. correct? Yep. Six off Amplify. Amplify red. Right. So, so what, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Uh, one to Oasis. I don't get the life gain, unfortunately, but I do block four, and I am going to yep. only take two. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is pitch a Frost Hex. As much as I'd love to play this third Frost Hex, <laughs> I think it's a little bit too greedy, honestly. Uh, to play this Ice Eternal from Arsenal. Mm, nice. And so I have four floating, because I only used one, I used one from Oasis and one on the Arcane, so yep. plus three, so I have so four two floating. two Frost Bites coming. X is two, correct. Mm. Two Frost Bites. Yeah, it's quite good. Okay. I have no go again, so I'll be then, taking that probably. <clears throat> yeah, so it's going to be... Uh, and then I'm going to use Constellus to Waning Moon, because yep. Ice Eternal was my non-attack. So the Waning Moon... Uh, are you, do you want to pitch I'm for not, the Waning I'm Moon? I'm not pitching for it, so I'll take three. Okay. Take three, and then you're going to take... Uh, oh, did you play a non-attack action card? Two. Yeah, Ice Eternal. Oh, sorry. That's Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Ice Eternal. So it's going to be two Frostbites. Each Frostbite deals two damage. Yeah, I'll so be taking that. Be... Well, it's going to be uh, four pings of one. Uh, you're right, yeah. yeah. Two, three, four. So technically, if you had Arcane Barrier 1, you'd be able to, which you do, obviously. Right. Um, so Frostbites yeah. are gone. That was good. It is now my turn. I'll move to Arsenal, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty I uh, had a card in hand, but I would prefer to Arsenal it. Well, actually, this will stay around. Reasonable. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to Arsenal pass. I could have kept a card for Cornet. I think it was... Bit greedy i think getting the damage here was the damage better. was good seven yeah. yeah seven and then i still have striders when i when i need it i still have armor so i think it's better anyways yeah you? okay goodbye rune blood incantation i guess the effect yep. still triggers, it is a trigger so you can it is still, a trigger you can still react i'm not i'm not no... responding but it is a trigger yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm not responding but it is a trigger <laughs> i'm correct um you should be after that sonata all right here's you the mordred here's a mordred that's what i didn't oh, want to shit. pitch away okay fair enough yeah. Mordred from Arsenal. Is that That's not a blue good. card in Arsenal, please? Or not a nice uh, card? Um, it is a nice card, which I'm going to play right now. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I will. It's my third hypothermia. So. Uh, does that I'm target non-attack actions? No, it's just attacks. Okay, so the next not attack. The next. The next not, you don't have to target. Next, okay. No, it's just attacks you control can't gain. Go attacks, again. plural. 
Well, Correct. That's pretty good. Attacks you control. You just you don't get go again on your attack. Well, you can't gain it. If it naturally has go again, you have it. Like Rune Flash still has go again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you can't use Moth to give something go again. Mm, that's quite good. Okay. Uh, I'll take the Frostbite. I'll um, I'll pitch Spellblade Assault to play Sonata. So two floating. Um, sure. All right. Let's not whiff. I'll create two Rune Chance though. So I forget. Mm -hmm. All right, number one. Yeah. Oh, red spell blade. That's that's pretty good. You're gonna get something. Rail bones. Okay. Yeah, getting something. Oh, or red amplify. Hmm. Not bad, also. Yeah, it's quite good. So the choice between amplify and spell blade. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just double check to see what is the one I want to use. So amplify is free, which is nice. The uh, spell blade assault will cost too much, likely. So I'll take the amplify. Mm hmm. Okay. So this goes back in the deck, shuffle. Uh, I will ping you for one. Yeah, I'm gonna pitch um I'm gonna pitch Blizzard because I already have hypothermia out, so Blizzard's kind of redundant here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh and then my Castellus uh is on one now. Uh, and then you banish your sonata after. I don't know what happened to your first sonata, by the way. Should uh should... it's probably in the grave, yep. Thank you. Yeah. There it is. Don't worry, I got you. I mean I don't have any remembrance, so whatever. <laughs> um okay. Remembrance doesn't target. Oh, it, it would target that, but it's Guardian, usually, that would run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. I lose go again. Here's the squeeze. Here's the squeeze. Okay. I have three in hand, two floating. Okay, so Striders is a thing. Like, um, it's possible, but I can't really play you're, around you're, it, I think. I've yeah, gotta... you're 21, I think. It's, like, it's unlikely. <laughs> yeah, it's very unlikely. Okay. Let's, um... Could just like striders into ice fin, that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come in with um with the amplify, I guess. Sure. So three rune chance coming up here. Uh I'll create two more. So three and six. I'll pitch a cold snap, and I'm gonna be blocking the three. Yep. Uh rune um, chance. Three that, so I still have two floating. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you have two, you get two rune chance off the back. Two right? in the bank, okay. so yeah. Coming in for six. I'm going to be taking some damage. Uh, I think I'm going to take the six, unless you have a response. Uh, no response. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'll spend one on creepers, though. Yep. So you're at one. Yep. Let's pop creepers. I'm at one. Um,. I hopefully, hopefully I didn't miscount this. So I'll play Mauve as an instant. Mm -hmm. Going to four, Rune Chance. Sure. <laughs> it's a crazy play. I'll um, crack, crack iron. iron Weave to go to three resources. Mm -hmm. I don't even have a token for three resources. <laughs> Here, here's a dice. Sure. Um, and I'll crack the vexing <laughs> to go to six. Okay. You really want to keep creepers. I get it. I get it. And here's a ninth blade for free. What Not for free. Fuck? I'll I'll pay three and I'll use six rune chant discount. The big discount. So six rune chance and nine physical. Uh, on hit, create three more rune chance. Oh, and I'll create two more because of moths. Oh, Mordred Tide will create two more. I'm sorry. Yes. So I've got two in the bank. I'll create three. Uh, actually, four, because Mob Skies will give plus one with the Mordred. Anyway, six Arcane, yeah. nine physical. Here you go. Yeah. I mean, I can block the Arcane, however, then I don't get the Arsenal, which is a little odd. So this card's blocking for sure, I think. Mm -hmm. This card is not... It does a lot of damage, but I think the Ironhide Gauntlet's coming out. So it's mm. six and nine. Yep. A lot I do have go again, but no resources. I could have resetted, but can't. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, hypothermia. Sorry, hypothermia is still active. I was not able yeah, to. Yeah, Mob doesn't again. have. Yeah, yeah Mob doesn't have go again. So you, you use the action point that you played. Yes. Um, knife blade. Yes. Which is reasonable. That is the only way of getting around hypothermia on your deck, other than lead the charge. Mm -hmm. Which I have sided uh, out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Waning Moon deal three damage. Okay. So the Arcane you is still enough. coming, though, six, right? This is before the Arcane. Yeah, just, yeah, just letting you know. Six more yeah. arcane. Take Three, the six. Five, six. Oh, yeah. Take the We're six. At twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So s s creepers that, will stick around. Is that reasonable? 
I'm taking six arcane regardless. I'm just thinking about if I want a waning here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. It's a fair consideration because you'll lose the arsenal if you do that, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to block three and take um So you'll take another, another f uh, f six. Yeah. Okay, now for the no, Rinchan sure. generation. Marbion Skies creates three and Amplify... Uh, sorry, so and four, one for more total. Yeah, so six. Yeah, four total. All right, that's the turn. No arsenal, but worth. Yeah. Also, a reminder, I don't have Arcane Barrier 2 anymore. I had to crack yeah. the vexing for that play. Yeah, you don't necessarily need it, but you're right. Uh, I'm just going to Arsenal Pass. Okay. Did you unmoon Two, me? Three, four. I mooned you, yeah. Well, No, I didn't I didn't unmoon you. I didn't block two Arcane. I only mooned you for three. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You didn't unmoon me. No, you were at 21. Okay. So now I'm hoping you just brick, which is... Mm, it's a little bit of a brick. But um, I, mean, I do have a nice have. nice bank of rune chance, though, so I'm not too worried. True. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, let's go Mob Sky's blue only. Uh, Yeah, in response, I'm going to cold snap. You don't have an arsenal, but I'm still going to cold no. snap. It's fine. You can draw uh... up. I'll take a... Um... Frost Biddle. Yeah. yeah, I just want to get another card in hand to block with TBH. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. It's a fair consideration. All right. Okay. Um, what's the play? This is not bad. You have two floating though, so Arcane's gonna and be four in hand. Meh. Yeah, so you'll yeah. probably block this out. Okay. Let's go. I'll try. Let's go with um. A free amplified blue. So here's six frostbite. Sorry, six rune chance, and then yeah. four physical, and I'll create one off the back of uh, that amplify. Where did my other rune chant token go? Did I? Oh, it's up here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So six and four. With go again. Six and four. Okay. Let me do some math real quick. Like quick maths. Yeah. So frostbite's gone, huh? Um, oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't. I forgot I had Frostbite. Yeah, I'll pitch for it. So I've got two floating after. Uh, no, I don't. You have a discount, don't you? Oh, does that? Discounted by six. Supersede. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So then I wouldn't have had to pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just costs an additional pitch, but your Amplify costs okay. three. Okay. I wasn't sure how that worked. Six. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Frostbite didn't matter. Yeah. No, it did not. Didn't think you'd draw the next Amplify. It was blue. Amplify the block blue. with. Um... Um, Creepers has to be this. checked every turn, I guess. So if I don't deal Arcane this turn, it goes away. Yeah, you'll deal Arcane. I don't yeah, think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a constant check. The coordinate peak You'd think peak after peak. all the Briar I play... Well, I play Snaps, actually, so... Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna pitch Ice Eternal... to block... Mm-hmm. So you're blocking five uh, of these rune chants? No, I'm not blocking five. I'm blocking four. Okay. So I so have two damage then. So um, I had five. You have one floating then if you're blocking four. Correct. Yeah, that that's correct. So I'll okay. take two rune chants. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'll get a const. I'll get a constellus. Okay. Counter. Uh, I will then use one floating to iron hide. Okay. And I will sink below. So that blocks the six. So it's only four. Oh. Um. Amplify is only four damage. It's a blue. Oh, it's Sorry. just a blue amplify. Yeah. Did you want to not pitch, or do you want you can block um, one more arcade? I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll block. I thought it was a red. Sorry, so no, I it's, had the it's iron hide. No, it's fine. It's very, very small text over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll just, I'll just sink. There um, you go. I'm not gonna sink a card though. Okay. So yeah, you prevented the rune chant generation from mob skies. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, that that was the main thing I would like to do. <laughs> okay. I'll just be pitching for Rosetta here. So we're going to be coming in for basically five damage. One rune chant, two arcane, two physical. Two floating. Mm -hmm. One rune chant. So one, two, and two. Yeah, one, two, and two. Yeah, so I'm going to do... Uh, so before that, I'm going to Constellus. Okay. Uh, to moon you for three, because I've played Cold Snap. Um, yeah, I did pitch for that. So I will, I'll block two of it. Oh, one of it. I'm sorry. I only have one, one arcane barrier, so we'll I'll take, take two. two. Yeah. Yep. Um... Taking five seems real bad here. Mm. Uh, I'll pitch sink below. Mm. I should have sank it. I just completely forgot that you were going to Rosetta there. I thought you were going to. Oh, so you would have sank that. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, fair. That's fair. So blue card. Yeah, I would have just used damage. Iron Hide. 
Yeah. Yeah, which is fine. So I'm blocking the one arcane. Mm -hmm. I'll take two arcane and I'll block the physical okay. cornet peak. That's fair. So I'll move to Arsenal then. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Yeah, not not awful, but uh. Yeah, you might have had an extra two block if you had got a uh, a, red, a blue card there. Yeah, like I still have iron iron hide, but yeah, not super ideal. Uh, I'll arsenal my last card. Yeah. Cast. Okay, sounds good. Oh wow. Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> huh. Huh. Is that an ice card? Okay, let's play Mordred. Mordred from Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, in response, Channel Lake Frigid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God damn. Can I get a can I get a what what? All right. It was funny. I can pitch scour. Um. Oh, do I pitch scour here? Yeah, because I can't get it at Arsenal. Yeah. I'm not gonna put that. You're not Arsenal. gonna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, it won't be worth it. Yeah. Uh, okay then. Okay then. Things have changed. Um. Let's go. Um. Let's pitch. I give you a, I give you a frostbite. Also, yeah, so I so have to pay. So I pitch a yellow to play swarming. Um, that'll generate two rune chance. So I get the. It's gonna be four with go again. Yeah. Four with go again. Yeah. All right. Let's wipe that smile off that <laughs> smug face of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna use one to sigil of permafrost. Mm. Uh, um, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. But. I will also fuse it with Blizzard. Oh, okay. And then Do you play Blizzard? I'm gonna play Blizzard, giving <laughs> you another frostbite. Yeah. And pay two or lose go again. I have one card in hand. Oh. Hooped end. Yep. So you take uh two off I'll take two. Well yeah. hold on. If I pitch to Moon you, that's three are off it's, arcane, it's, uh... so that creates three frostbites. It's gonna be nine more damage. I think I'm going to pitch it for Moon. Sure. So I'll just take all the damage you bring out. Uh, or actually, yeah, so oh, I'm sorry. I can block one of it. Might as well. You can block one um, of it. I'll pitch Rattlebones. So I'll take two. And then there's going to be three Frostbites. So I'll take six more. No, it's only two. Uh, yeah, it creates two more Frostbites. Yeah. So eight damage about... total. I'll go to six, I believe. Two plus three times two. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't pitch um, to get rid of the hypothermia, not hypothermia, the blizzard, because I only had red. So yeah. you did stop me, guaranteed. So okay. I only had a card in hand. That was actually pretty greedy now I'm thinking about it. One, two, three, four, and channel goes away. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so you have no... Okay. Well, yeah, it, it's a bit hard to burst down. Uh, you can't do it with a single card. Even... Um, the um, the five damage one would be seven. I forget the name of it. Uh, ice frost uh, freezing point. Frost ice thing. F freezing yeah. points. That's the one. Uh, oh, I probably lost creepers at this point because I probably didn't deal arcane last turn. You did. You didn't do any arcane. No. no. So I lost creepers. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's start things off with the Malrion skies from Arsenal. I had two mobs that turn, but you played Channel Lake. You had to do that. You just had to play Channel Lake. Okay, I'm yeah. guessing you're not responding with the uh, Storm Striders? No. Okay. I have to think about what, what I'm going to do when you do that. But yeah, you're good. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, I'm going to play Mauv. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, you're not going to play Mauv. Yes, yes, I will play Mauv. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a spell blade itself. I'm sorry. That's, that's a, not Mauv. <laughs> yeah. I'll create two more rune chants because of yeah. Mordred. So, yep, I got to go And what you're again. saying is, then you want to play it, yeah. Then I want to pitch for a Spellblade Assault, red. So here's <laughs> four rune chants, four physical, and I'll create two more because of Viscerai. Yep. And I have go again. And one floating. You want to see something super cool? No. Is that a pun? It's me, winning the, game off, it's me winning the game off freezing point that you thought wasn't lethal. Okay, okay. I've got a card in hand, though. But you can only block one arcane. How much damage are you doing? Nine? Meaning, what I do is I pitch um, Aether Ice Vein to activate Striders. Okay, so you have no floating. No, that's a red Ice Vein. I then play... Sorry, I then pitch Ice Eternal for Freezing Point. 
fusing with Winter's Bite. This does seven damage so seven. because you have two Frost Afflictions. Oh, of course, so you, you, have, you have Waning Moon. I have Moon. Moon's it's for your three, turn. so it's going to be seven on your plus turn. three. Uh, you have eight, and you could block one and one. I block one and one, yep. Good game. I had Revel. <laughs> Oh, that would have won the game. So then, uh, yeah. then essentially you go to. Uh, so you would have dealt. Uh, I would have pitched. I would have pitched. To, well, use my resource to block it. So I would have taken five. Yeah, and then and I then you pitch for waning. To move. Yep. Very nice. You drew. You drew the one card you needed to end the game. How unfair I is did. that? Very good. Uh, to be fair, yeah. The other way is that I draw blues, and I Ice give Eternal. you like a bajillion. I give you a bajillion frostbite off Ice Eternal. That's the fair other play too. Was, you, drew, um, you drew both of those cards. You had both. yeah. The other play was uh, ice fading, red ice fading, and taking two two resources off you. But I don't think that would that doesn't win the game because it's just five and it's you block four, go to four. No, you block four, go to six, right? Uh, yeah, I, I was at eight, right? So I've taken uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You're yeah. doing yeah because you're doing four and four, right? Right, right. right. Um, okay, so how did you feel uh, about not having C and C? I think CNC would have been way too clunky. Yeah. Um, you had the I one nourishing, um, which was fine. I had the one nourishing. Uh, I think the big misplay in this game for me was the, uh I shouldn't have mooned you. I should have kept the... Um, oh, because I had a card in hand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I Again... That was still eight <laughs> damage, though. It, it's, it, it, it's a misplay, but like in reality, I should be... In person, I'm looking at what you have in hand, but it's difficult yeah. for me, like on the stream, to always to have to ask it. what I have in hand. Yeah, because yeah. I have to like look down and look up. But like in reality, that's definitely a misplay because I don't think I moon you because I know I'm not getting three, uh, four frost bites. I'm only getting yeah. three frost bites on you uh, yeah. because the four frost bites would have been eight damage plus the moon. So so the, the moon would have been eight. three plus eight. Oh, the, the three. I'm sorry. Right. Yes, yes, yeah. And you were at sixteen. Mm -hmm. So you would I have think been at there five? was also I think there was already a frostbite on me too. So it would have been an extra. So it would have been five frostbites. No, no, no. I I, I counted that. I counted that. You had one frostbite. And oh, I would it, have added it was four. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So you would have done eight from that, yeah. and it would have been three from Moon. So mm -hmm. it would have been uh, five. Eleven, and it would have been at five. five. At five, it's freezing like, point wins the game by itself. Or or well, um, I guess I pitched are, one, but you can easily no, no, get. But actually, at five, it doesn't matter because I can just uh, ice feign and moon you. Yeah, that's right? four plus two. Ice vein, yeah. Yeah. Right. So then then any combo off striders kills you. It's true. Yeah. So any like, five in reality, damaging spell. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, and I have like a fair amount. Like mm -hmm. I put put them in there. However, uh that that is like th those misplays could have like cost me the game pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I think you had the game. Right. This, so this, those this, were like this turn was my turn to win for sure. There was no way you were blocking like another f five, six because I had the Mordred out. So six rune chance plus the two, eight plus Rosetta. That's like twelve more damage. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Well, GGS. That was that was a clutch game. I I thought yeah. I had it, but you got you got the freezing point and the ice eternal <laughs> last turn. Yeah. So you had multiple ways to deal with me. Yeah. Yeah, definitely by the skin of my teeth. There, it's still. A decently close matchup i think fun. Icelander's slightly favored but i think this has a lot of ways to get back into the matchup so i don't think it's significantly favored one way or the other yeah uh, it's just based on the draws and like how you sequence what's in your arsenal and like how you play at your hands with that appreciate everyone for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more content and with that appreciate everyone for watching from wherever you're watching in the world have a good morning good afternoon good evening bye for now